think a couple of years ago, uh, I, on my other channel, which got terminated, I did a video in the saying, asking, um, are all white people racist? Now, on this channel, I'm going to do a video stating that, um, that there's no way that black people could ever be racist. Now, this is going to be the one and only few times that I will sit there and talk about white people like that or explain to white people about it. Okay, because when we when I do certain stories on YouTube, you know, certain people come out and say when I did a um, we should buy black. You have people saying that I was racist because I was telling people to buy black. I was telling people that, you know. We need to support our own. We need to boycott and open up our own businesses. And people were saying, well, that's being racist. That's being hating. Okay, stop it. Now, this is <clears throat> what, and here's the reason why black people cannot be racist. Okay. Here, here's what it is. Racism is the belief that all members of each race processes characteristics or the ability specifically to that race, especially so as to distinguish it as an inferior or superior to another race or races. That, okay, the system of racism begins with a designation of it with a race designating itself it as superior to another. To carry out acts of racism, a race must have power and privilege. There has never been a time in American history when a race other than white has the power and privilege over another, especially in the case of black people. Okay. Black people don't have a system where they can benefit. That's number one. Okay, and we don't have an advantage over white people to be racist. Now, okay, can black people be prejudiced? Can other groups of minority be prejudiced or bigoted, uh, discriminate, show discriminatory behaviors? Yeah. I, I, yeah, they can. But here it is. Then I'm, I'm going to tell you the reason why. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason why black people and other minority groups say what they say about white people is because they have experienced a, a lot, amounts of bigotry and racism towards them. See, black people aren't born hating somebody. When they're born, they're little kids, they, they go out, they play with each other, they don't care what color they are. But when they get older and when they see the stuff that happens, when you see the unarmed black people getting killed, when they see um, um, little girls getting kicked out of school, getting suspended from school because they have their hair in braids or they have their hair in cornrows and says, well, this is not the proper style or, you know, when they, excuse me, when they wear proper clothes, when they wear African clothes and they tell them, well, you can't wear this African clothes or you can't wear something over your head because it's not appropriate. Then that's when people say, you know what? We need to create our own schools. We need to embrace our culture. In most white schools, you're not even allowed to embrace your culture. You have to conform to Caucasian culture. You know, this is why people are saying, look, we need to get our own school. You see how some of the teachers treat black students. You know, calling them names and, you know, imitating slavery. You see this. Why do you think black HBC, HBCU schools were created? They were created so black people could go to school and don't have to worry about racism. They don't have to worry about um, discrimination. They can go to school and they can embrace their culture. They don't have to sit there. They don't have to sit there and have to deal with um, deal with racism. 
That's why stuff was done. When BET was created, you know why BET was created? Because MTV would not play um, black music on their channel. They wouldn't play black music at all. They would only play rock. Michael Jackson tried to get his songs on MTV, but could not. Okay, why do you think Soul Train was created? Why do you think BET was created? So black people can get exposure because they that they wouldn't get on mainstream TV. Mainstream. So they had Soul Train. They had BET. You had Video Soul. You had Planet Groove to give the blacks expo exposure. That's why you had Urban Radio. So that is racist to create a black entertainment television that was racist to create Soul Train. That, I guess that was racist because people said, well, that's racist to create Soul Train. We're, we're drawing American Bandstand. American Bandstand didn't play a whole lot of black music. They might have a couple of black acts here and there, but they didn't. a lot of artists wouldn't have gotten the exposure if there wasn't a Soul Train, if there wasn't a BET, if it wasn't Urban Radio. So it, it was racist to do that. Hell, white people were on Soul Train. White people back it started in the 80s, they danced, late 70s started dancing on Soul Train. So Soul Train wasn't racist, as some of you saw, because you had white folks dancing on the show in the 80s and 90s. Not too much in the 70s, but you get with the, where I'm where I'm coming from. And I'm hearing this all the time when we said we want to create our own, we want to create our own business, we want to create our own towns. I keep hearing, oh, that's racist. You hate this. Or when somebody suggests that you should only date within your race, you sit there and say, why would you want to date within your I mean, people have an issue with that. I don't care who you date. At the end of the day, I'm not the dating police. I'm not going to tell you who to date. You date who you want to date. But you have to understand what racist means and not get it mixed up with bigotry, prejudice, discrimination, uh, you know, or just simply being mean. Yeah, do black people name call? Do they sit there and say, we want to separate, we don't want to be around you? Yeah, they say that. But you got to understand why they saying that. You got to understand why they feel the way they do. You got to understand why they get in their safe space leaving this country. You got to understand why. Because they weren't born hating or disliking another group. Something had to happen when they were around certain these people to sit there and say, you know what? I don't even want to deal with it no more. I just want to go by myself, deal with my own people and just be, be nice and be stress free. That's why people say what they say. They're not saying it just because they say it. They ain't saying they're hating you or not liking you just because you're white. Okay, they're not. They're saying it not because you're white, because you're white and you have this mentality saying, you know what? You treating black people this way. So, you know what? The re your actions of treating us this way is the action, it's a reaction to say, you know what, we don't want to deal with you, we don't want you around in our space, we want our own stuff, we don't even want to date you. That's why they're saying the stuff the way what they're saying. And if you would be quiet, shut the hell up, understand it, and not tell people, black people, how they should feel, or what they should say, or how to react, then okay, understand and educate yourself like Jane Elliott did. She uh, she just had to understand she had to educate herself. She had to educate herself to understand. You know what? I'm going to sit there. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to listen. I'm not going to interrupt. I'm not going to tell these people how to feel. I'm going to sit back and be quiet. Okay. When the Chinese, they they have their to themselves, but you don't say, oh, Chinese hate white people, or Chinese are racist. No, they just, they believe in economics within their own group. They believe in mating within their own group. What's wrong with that? I can't fault them for that. I don't hate them. And this nonsense about, oh, you, you hate white people. 
you hate white people because somebody suggests that they start their own business is ridiculous and it's stupid and it shows that you don't know anything. It just shows that you're closed minded because it doesn't mean that you hate anybody. If I want to date within my own race, okay, if I want to date within my own race, that's my choice. It doesn't mean I hate a white person. It just means I want to keep it in my own race. Just because I want to go to a black bank doesn't mean I hate white people. I'm just comfortable going to a black bank. Just because I have a black doctor, which I do have a black doctor, doesn't mean I hate white doctors. I feel more comfortable with a black doctor because I can relate to black people more than you can relate to white. Now, are there some white people that can relate to you? Yes. And just because a white person lived in the hood and they can relate to you, I don't trust that either. Because they can still have racist views. You saw Michael Rappaport, you saw Gary Owens, and you saw Justin Timberlake. Which just typically, like, I've never heard him use racial remarks, but you get what I'm saying. So this nonsense where some of these white folks come on here and when somebody says something or says, you know, we need black police in our neighborhood. Stop with the nonsense of that's being racist or you hate somebody because it doesn't mean you hate anybody. Because for me, I don't advocate nobody hating nobody because it takes a lot out of you. I would say use that energy to do something positive and do stuff, something constructive for the community. That's what you do. If you get into a point of hating a white person, I tell a black person, you know what? Take that negative energy, do something constructive, do something positive, create businesses in your own town, create schools. So therefore, your children, children, children won't have to worry about dealing with racism. I would tell people to do that. But I'm not going to put my energy and just say, oh, I hate white people. No, hell no. Okay. And it's not racist for me to sit there saying that I don't like somebody either. It's not racist. If I don't like you, I don't like you. There's a reason why I don't like you. And I'm not going to sit here and, and don't try to sit here and don't try to convince me to like you or convince me to be around somebody when I don't want to be around. Stop doing that too. If somebody don't want to be around you, you let them be. You going if somebody you try to convince somebody to be around you that don't want to be around you, you're you're causing trouble. Well, I'm not that bad. Well, maybe you're not being that bad, but that person says, you know what? I'd rather be around my own. And that's not racist because Asians do it, Chinese do it, Latins do it, Hispanics do it, African people do it, um, Jews do it, uh, Arabs do it. Everybody does it, but there's a problem. White people have a problem when we do it. It's like, oh my God. So that's all I want to say. Let me know what you think about what I have to say. Um, share the video, subscribe, um, like, and um, stay tuned for more videos.